Hey guys, welcome back this week. I uh, wanted to give you a heads up on what we are doing this week. Uh, me and Xavier, we are planning on changing the felt on our pool table. Um, we like the beige, but we want to change it to a navy blue. So we're going to change that and the bumpers, which are these rubber rails here. Uh, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, as you can see, we're getting started. I figured since Xavier's younger, I'd throw him underneath the table to start working on the boats underneath. I would just come up behind him and start grabbing everything, putting it in a bag for later use. That way we don't lose any parts. Got to take advantage of young backs, right? Well, the next step is we need to start loosening up the pockets. Some had staples, some had screws. So we have to go around each and every one of them and start making sure that they're a part two before we take up the rails off the table. I guess Xavier finally got smart and, and had me starting to do some work underneath as well. And yep, that's his cat, Anae. So now we finally got Yaya in the mix helping out. She's gonna help us start taking out all the rails and the pockets and start putting them to the side. I need to find other ways to get her out of her room besides putting a pool table together every week. Any suggestions there, everyone? And done for now. First step, we're going to start working on the rails. So we figured we'd use the old felt on the table as a, as a work table. Since we're going to have to be taking out a lot of staples. I didn't want to mess up the new felt, so may, may as well use the old felt. If it gets damaged, it doesn't really matter. And here guys, I'm just showing you how the felt is actually folded underneath on the corners. That's actually the tricky part of this, believe it or not. And now we're off. Taking out all the staples, all the felt, and finally we can see the bumpers, which we will be replacing. And we have Yai in the background working also. I have her replacing all the blades and the razor blades. For each rail, I wanted to make sure we had a clean surface. So as you can see, I'm flipping the plastic over every single time. Didn't want any glue getting on the outside railing. Teamwork, guys. I'm holding the railing and the bumper as Xavier glues it.
And as you can see, we're sitting here holding that stuff down until the cement dries. Trust me, it felt like forever on every single rail. We had to sit there and hold that stuff down while the contact cement dried. So glad Bianca put fast forward on this part. Day two, everyone. I was hoping to finish in one day, but obviously we did not. So second day, we're determined to finish today. So glad we bought an electric stapler. Hey guys, we just finished the, uh, the fill on the railings right now. As you see, uh, during the pass boarding, we, uh, we glued everything together, we stapled it, and we didn't show everything, but as you see from here, stapled, folded, this was the hardest part right here, and we did that for the last uh, five others. Next. And right now, we'll just take a quick break, and we'll start with the table next. Finally, on to the so-called easy part. The table itself, the slate. It's just one big piece of felt rather than six different bumpers. So we're on the home stretch now, guys. So excited, cannot wait to be done. If you've been hanging in there this long, guys, don't forget, click like, subscribe, please. All right, guys, um, as you can see, uh, we just finished taking off all the old felt. Um, what we're gonna do real quick is just kind of clean it off and kind of refill the hose with some beeswax and get the surface area ready, prepped to um, accept the new felt. All right, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, okay, guys, this next step is uh, filling in the drill hose with uh, some beeswax. What we're gonna do this is we're gonna melt it with a blowtorch. No, no, no. It'll drip in and dry up and harden the holes just to make All it flat. Right. So what we're doing now is we're trying to make sure the surface is as clean as possible. Any kind of old spray adhesive, old wax, anything that we can take off, we're taking off. We're using a little bit of something called goof off to take off any old residue. And as you can see, Xavier is trying to make sure all the seams are nice and smooth and even. He's going back over them. A little dust off and we're ready for the new felt. Here we go. First, we're making sure the felt's nice and even all the way around and off to stapling. Start on one end, stretch it, staple the other end, 
and then work your sides back and forth until it's all stretched nice and even, nice and tight. Almost to the finish line, guys. Hang in there. So now we had to cut little slits in the pockets to be able to tuck it in. But before we do, we want to put a little bit of a piece of uh, blue fabric underneath just to kind of hide the um, slate underneath. So that way, once we tuck it, just to make sure you can't see anything underneath, all you see is pretty navy blue. All right, done with the table. Now to start putting the rails together. As you can see, we actually had to enlist some extra help. Um, bend these rails too far one way or the other, you're likely to crack one. So we wanted to make sure we had extra hands just to make sure that it gets bent wrong. Okay guys, we just finished the uh, table. Uh, here's the final product over here. Everything's uh, just bolted in right now. Uh, we could wipe it off real quick, but now is the uh, time to test out the new felt. Let's check it out. I think that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, I think see. we did a good job. I think so too. For our first time um, doing bumpers, rails, everything, I think we did a pretty good job. It looks good, it sounds good. Um, balls are moving around well, so I'm happy with it. You happy with I'm it? I'm real happy with All right. it. Well, I guess that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Mm -hmm. Got anything else? Don't forget that little bell right there for our weekly videos. And I'll see y'all next week. See y'all next week, guys. Bye.